Welcome in. I'm Jessica Mori, and I am joined by the brand new head women's basketball coach here at Oklahoma State, JC Hoyt. Thank you so much for joining me, Coach Hoyt. I am thrilled to be here. Thank you for having me. We are definitely thrilled to have you. So you were announced as the head coach just a few days ago. What have these days been like and what was it like walking into Gallagher Iba Arena knowing that you are now the head coach of Cowgirl Basketball? You know, it's been such a whirlwind of emotions and um, just pure joy and um, just tears. And I mean, you name it, I have felt it in the last 48 hours. So when I first walked into the arena, um, you know, I really, it, it, it all hit me um, when I saw the bright lights and, and got to take floor. And it, I mean, goosebumps, honestly, goosebumps and just a, an overwhelming feeling of gratitude and kind of like, I'm home. This, this is home and this is where I get to call home. So it, it was an amazing feeling. I will never forget that. Um, but uh, I just, I can't wait to play there. Yeah. Definitely. And you mentioned feeling like home. Why do you feel like you're the right fit for Cowgirl Basketball and Cowgirl Basketball is the right fit for you? Well, first and foremost, the people, the people here, um, just uh, literally everyone that I've met, um, just so, so approachable, so warm and welcoming. And I'm, I'm a small town girl at heart. So, uh, you know, I grew up in a, in a small town where um, community is really important and um, you, you value people over everything else, over facilities or anything else. And, and obviously Oklahoma State has state of the art, everything, you know, so much to offer. Big 12 basketball, the best in the country, you know, all of those things. But it, it ultimately boils down to the people and the leadership here. Um, and just having a place where I feel like we can compete at the absolute highest level. I'm a very highly, highly competitive person. I love to win. I'd, I'd probably more importantly hate to lose. Um, and I just feel like this place is a gold mine um, to win games at the highest level and, and compete for conference championships. So, What is your coaching philosophy? Well, my philosophy is always first and foremost relationships first. I was very fortunate to play for coaches, uh, my mother in particular, who really, you know, invested in me as a person first and um, empowered me and, and gave me that self-belief that, um, you know, it's okay to, to be fiery, it's okay to be competitive, and um, to try and be the absolute best at everything that you do. And so that's really... Uh, my philosophy is I want to give that same belief to my players and help them understand um, that when you work hard and you do things the right way and you believe that anything is possible, you can achieve your wildest dreams. And so that's really, you know, basketball is just my platform to do that, um, really just to impact lives. And you mentioned impacting the lives. How important is it for you to help mold these young women for when they go into the real world and they're finished with their basketball careers? Well, it's, it's incredibly important. You know, you, you look across um, just all of the things even recently with, with gender equity and, and those types of things. And so um, having gone through it myself, you know, I understand kind of what's waiting on the other side for them. And so it's incredibly important for me to um, give them the skill set and the confidence and um, the understanding that, you know, you're going to have to compete out there. And um, but that's okay. And so if I, if I prepare them in a way that they can hold their head high when they walk out these doors, hopefully with a ring on their <laughs> finger, you know, of course, the diploma in their hand, uh, the world is theirs. And um, I, I want them to go out and be incredibly successful at whatever it is that they set their heart to. And you mentioned the gender, gender equity, you know, it, it, coaching is a man's world and mm -hmm. it's getting better, but it's still a man's world. Yeah. And at just 34 years old, you're going to be the head coach here at a Power Five program. What's it like for you to get a chance to mold these young women when not too long ago you were in that exact same position? How does that perspective mm -hmm. help you? Well, I don't take it lightly. I, d I don't take it lightly at all, the impact that I get to have on them. And I know that I would not be sitting here if I didn't have some amazing women in my life pour into me and um, really just build me up, you know, and give me opportunities. So um, I, I just, I I'm so excited to be able to now pay that forward and do that for our players. And um, I know that I've got people around me here who will help me do that as well. And, and that's where I go back to, you know, community and just the excitement of um, being on this mission, but just being surrounded by people who are also on that same mission. 
And you mentioned your mentors, you mentioned your mom. She is a legendary high mm -hmm. school basketball coach back in Kansas. And a lot of people say, hey, you were born to coach. <laughs> How do you feel like coming from a coaching family is going to help you at this level? Well, you know, first of all, I mean, I would say growing up watching my mom, you know, she, she really gave me the blueprint of who I want to be and how I want to go about um, the job and um, teaching the game and, and investing in players' lives. So I'm very fortunate to have had her, you know, kind of give me that blueprint. And um, now it's it's my job to take it and, and run with it. And um, I, I'm excited to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people, I've listened to some interviews you've done, I've read some articles, a lot of people talk about your energy, the energy yeah. you bring to the position. Would you consider yourself a fiery coach, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> of course I am. I mean, listen, I, I, I love to win. I love to compete. Um, and I, I love this game. I love this game. It's a, a powerful game. It's a game that has given me so many opportunities and changed my life. And um, so, you know, every time I, I step on the floor, every time I go into a film room session or, or make one of those recruiting calls, I want other people to um, understand where this game can take you. And um, just really, you know, loving what you do, who you get to do it with. Um, I'm just excited for other people to get to share in that journey with me. Yeah, we are definitely excited as well. Let's talk some X's and O's a little bit. Um, you were at Kansas City for mm -hmm. five seasons. You finished 81 and 65 overall. Put that in a little bit of perspective. <laughs> the prior six coaches who coached at Kansas City finished with an overall record of 242 and 437. So you were really able to come in there and turn that program around how were you able to do that? A lot of hard work, hard, hard work, you know, finding, um, finding a, a staff and players who, first of all, are willing to take a chance on themselves and, um, you know, who are not afraid to work hard and then do it every single day. So just a, a consistent approach, um, you know, to, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? So um, it's going to take, uh, I think, a lot of consistency to get to the level that, you know, we want to get, which is conference championships and competing, you know, on a national stage. But that's, that's really what it boils down to, finding the right people, um, players who believe in the vision, the, the vision that I will have here, that I already do have here. Um, and then just not, not afraid of hard work. And um, I think that when you have those things and you put your whole heart to it, um, great things will happen. What is that vision, would you say? What, you know, what do you expect for Cowgirl basketball in these next few years? And what are you telling these girls who might want to come play here for Cowgirl basketball? What can they expect on the court? They can expect to be pushed to their limits and even beyond. Uh, something that I go by is the standard is your best. So anything less than your best is not enough. You know, we're not going to settle for anything. So we are chasing uh, conference championships. We want to cut down nets. We want to pick out rings. Um, and a hundred percent, you know, we want to be playing at this time in March every single year as deep into the NCAA tournament as possible and ultimately pursuing national championships. That will take time, but without a doubt, this is a place that it can be done. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think fans here would agree as well. And for you, do you feel like uh, you're going to be out there? You got Oklahoma State basketball is going to play fast. Do you feel like you're going to play fast? Shoot a lot of threes. I heard yeah. that's kind of your mindset. Definitely want to play fast, <laughs> uh, fast and furious. Um, that's that's just my personality. You know, we don't do anything um, half speed or, or half hearted. So want to play fast, really get up and down. Uh, shoot the basketball a lot and um, defensively, you know, just really make people work. I uh, have to work hard and earn every single basket that they get against us. Um, so I think that, you know, in order to play fast, that really starts on the defensive end with your defensive presence and the ability to rebound. Um, but we want to play an exciting brand of basketball. We can get up and down. I know that fans enjoy watching that. Uh, that's, I think, the the recruits, you know, are really drawn to that. Um, and, of course, the players love playing that way. So it's going to be exciting. It sounds like it's going to be a great time. Before coming to Kansas City, you were an assistant coach at Kansas State mm -hmm. in the Big 12. How do you think that experience is going to help you, you know, ultimately bring a conference championship here to Stillwater? Without a doubt, I... 
I was able to take those experiences and that opportunity and really understand what it takes to win in the Big 12. Um, and so, I, I, you know, I'm incredibly thankful for my time there and, and everything that I was able to learn and just that opportunity. Um, but it gave me a great taste of what it takes to compete in this conference and uh, more importantly, what it takes to win. And uh, I'm just really thankful for the way that, you know, those years at K-State prepared me for this opportunity. And do you feel like coming in right away, what do you feel like your, a realistic ceiling is for Cowgirl basketball, at least in this next year? I know you mm -hmm. haven't got a ton of time to look at the team. Yeah. There's the transfer portal, things like that. But what do you believe is a realistic ceiling for this team? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really not, honestly, a coach um, that sets a lot of goals or says, you know, we have to win this many games or finish at this place in the conference. Um, I think it goes back to what I said. Um, when you show up every single day and have an expectation that you're, um, going to strive to be your absolute best and not leave anything left. Um, that's kind of where the magic happens. And so I'm really just focused on the process, getting 1% better each and every day, you know, having a growth mindset that whatever happens, good or bad, we're going to use that and um, learn from it and grow from it and continue to elevate. Um, and, and going back to my time in Kansas City, you know, that, that was really how we got there. It was just keeping our head down, working incredibly hard, competing incredibly hard every day. And then you look up and you realize, oh, you know, we're, we're at the top of the conference or we get to play in a postseason. Um, so that's really my goal is just kind of um, instilling uh, that philosophy and that culture and that work ethic. And then I believe once that has taken place, then we're really going to be happy with where we're at. Definitely. And what can people learn about you that maybe they can't get from reading your coaching resume or your bio on a website? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, what would you like fans to, to know about you more, you know, as a person? Well, to, first of all, I want the fans to know, I want to know them. Um, everything that I'm talking about, you know, t winning conference championships and those things, I can't do alone. Um, I really am looking forward to getting to connect with, with our fans and, and people in the community. I want little girls coming to our games, you know, telling telling their moms and their dads, I want to grow up and, you know, be like Lexi Keys or be like Lauren Fields. You know, that that's really important to me. Um, so that's the first thing that I want <laughs> fans to know is I want to know you and I want to do this with you. Um, I do. I love fashion. I love, love fashion. I love shoes. Um, my family is incredibly important to me. Um, and I, you know, you can't talk about female empowerment and um, those types of things without loving Beyonce. So <laughs> that's just a little kind of side note. <laughs> I think that's great. I think everyone loves Beyonce <laughs> Who for doesn't? sure. And Who I think doesn't? we can tell by the orange jumpsuit <laughs> and the white heels that you've got a good fashion sense. I think you and President Trump will get along very well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I, she is like already my idol. Um, I, Same. I'm so excited to work with her. Yeah. So it was funny because, um, you know, I, I got this um, and I was like, eh, is, it, is it too much? And then uh, Russell Wilson got announced to the Broncos and his wife Sierra who I actually am also a huge fan of yes. she was in all orange and I was like if she's doing it I'm doing it let's go so I love it I saw her outfit and I, yeah. in my mind was like okay where's everyone finding all this orange <laughs> clothes all these orange clothes because I need to uh, I need to go there and get mm -hmm. some myself for sure well it was great getting to know you I am super excited to see what you do with cowgirl basketball Thank you. congratulations on the new job I know fans and everyone here in the Oklahoma State community is excited to see what you can do with the program. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. That is new Oklahoma State women's basketball head coach, JC Hoyt.